that is now sort of for the moment the end of if you will marvel talk but we are going to come back to marvel and i'll explain why in a minute because the main question that got brought into us okay was this let me just bring up full screen here for you so it was greetings henry did you hear the news that production on bond 26 is at least two years away how do you feel about this and is this a good thing or a bad thing well i have to be honest with you all here this is an interesting one i think to boot um, really interesting um, topic here. And I think it's also fair to say that this news, because if some of you might know, like a couple of months back, someone approached me, and I'll be honest, it was someone on LinkedIn. And so I thought they were saying, you know, and the credentials were working for a certain studio. And I basically listened to what they said. Now, I'm pretty much 100% sure what they were told is something they actually believed and was passed down. But I think the news is false. But essentially, it was that, you know, Bond 26 was going to be announced this year. We're going to have a new Bond on James Bond Day this year, potentially. And, you know, things were going forward. It was going to be like Aiden Turner, potentially, with Christopher Nolan directing. Not so sure about that now with the news. But deadline report of the news here, everyone. Let me just bring my um, thingy up here. Is that Barbara Rockley says the next James Bond film is two years away from production. We are reinventing him. Now, if you just see this here, this is obviously from deadline. Simply saying that you know it's going to be a while until we see the next james bond film it's not going to happen anytime soon the earliest for what they're saying is we're looking at potentially going into production in 2024 and then finally getting released in 2025 now i've got the quote here actually from barbara broccoli up here which i'm going to bring up to you right now everyone so let me just bring it up here so the actual quote is nobody is in the running she disclosed we're working out where to go with him. We're talking that through. There isn't a script and we can't come up with one until we decide how we're going to approach the next film because really it's a reinvention of Bond. We're reinventing who he is and that takes time. I say filming is at least two years away. Now, first off, I just want to say um, to Barbara Broccoli, I really am grateful for your honesty and openness to actually say, you know what, guys, I'm just going to tell you right now, Filming is at least two years away. You know, we are really taking our time to reinvent Bond. And for me, this is potentially a great thing and a bad thing. Let's just start with the positive here. On one side, as a Bond fan, I am super over the moon, super over the moon, that Barbara and Michael are really taking the time and effort to really go, right, we need to reinvent Bond. We need to make something that's great and brilliant, a new era of Bond that does take time. And we're not just going to quickly rush into it, quickly getting a film out quickly. We're going to spend hardcore time working out the perfect new version of Bond to give you guys that you're going to love. And on, on one side, that really does actually make me quite happy to hear that. On the negative side of that, which, again, this is just me being an issue, is like, if you are going to take at least, shall we say, you know, production to go not until for another two years, so 2024, that means potentially you are going to release your film in 2025. Now, traditional bonds, they were released in like October in the UK and November. So you're looking at that. Remember I talked about Marvel a bit earlier. Look at this. Okay. In 2025, we are not getting one, but two massive Avengers movies. In May, Avengers Kang Dynasty, and in November, Avengers Secret Wars. Let me just really focus you all on that, please. The big finale, the big, big, big end of Phase 6, the Multiverse Saga, Secret Wars, November 7th, right round the time where Bond, 25, 20, sorry, Bond 26 probably would release. That is not good. Now, I'm not saying Bond can't stand up to Marvel. It it certainly can. I think so. But honestly, to release a film to to go up against Avengers Secret Wars, I think is actually quite... It's You know what? I will say this. I think it's actually unfair to the new actor starting. That's like, right, we're going to... New Bond, new era. What are we going to put you up against? The massive Avengers movie that has been probably, you know, since Iron Man 1 been in the making that's just not fair that's just not fair and i also think it's quite a stupid idea 
Now, I really do. I think it's not such a bad... I just don't think it's a good idea at all. And this slightly annoys me because I, I'll be honest with you, open with you. I do, as I say, I really am grateful that the producers spend a good amount of time deciding we're going to give you the perfect, the best Bond film we could possibly get. We're going to top ourselves again and again. They really spend the hardcore time. But I'm going to be honest, recently, let's just say, minus the COVID issue, um, you know, which was which took an extra what was meant to come out in 2020 to an extra two years finally for the film to come out. So, you know, a year and a bit. Bond films are taking a bit longer and longer and longer to make. Now, I don't think we're at a stage in life where we can have them every two years and be of the quality they are. But I'd like to think potentially every three years, certainly with Amazon backing them. And to to have a new film, to open a new era, to go up again, I'm sorry, against Avengers Secret Wars after you've had all this build up from MCU all the way to that film, Avengers Secret Wars. I, I just don't think it's right. I think you're quoting disaster. What you really should be doing, again, my opinion, and it's easier me saying this and done, is you should be releasing it in 2024. Um, you know, I'm not saying Fantastic Four won't be amazing. I have every firm belief, by the way, fingers crossed, John Krasinski returns as Mr. Fantastic and Emily Blunt as Sue Storm, very much so. I just think it's, I, I just don't think it's a wise business move to release in 2025. And I'm very worried they might go, yeah, let's release it in 2026 instead. No, no. But I think that's the issue here. But can I just get back to her quote here, just to say, nobody's in the running, she disclosed. We're working out where to go with him. We're talking that through. There isn't a script, and we can't come up with one until we decide what how we're going to approach the next film. That I 100% agree with, and I respect. Though I'd be lying if I didn't think that they have already got some people potentially in the running already. You know, it really is a reinvention of Bond. And I, I will say it again. Bond does need a reinvention he really does because you know we've had the daniel craig era it's been great it's been a very much more human bond a sort of a, you know storyline running all the way through a more looking at bond's personal side we need a complete reinvention now i don't know what it's going to be could you go back to a more roger moore style fun over the top um are you going to do what i really hope they might potentially do which is go back in time to the 1960s who knows who knows but anyhow I think it's fair to say, look, as fans, we've got plenty to look forward to. We have got the 007 video game coming out next year, hopefully. Fingers crossed for that. So that will help, you know, ease the time going through. And I think we should look at this news based in conclusion and say, you know what? Yes, it's annoying we're not going to get another film for a, a while. But at least we know they are actually really working on it, really focusing on it, really putting their heart and soul into it to try and come up with the best version. But releasing it in conjunction and compare in com competition to Avengers Secret Wars, in my opinion, is a bit of a bad idea.